Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and allow me to introduce myself. Oftentimes I get a lot of people wanting to know why I'm doing what I'm doing and what got me here. Well, I'm glad you asked. A little childhood trauma, emotional abuse, daddy issues, infidelity, and some really terrible relationships. Can you relate? Why else would you be on YouTube? So let's get into it, shall we? I was 10 years old when I woke up to a normal day at school. My brothers and I were almost ready to leave when my mom received a very concerning phone call that said, you need to get down to the gym that my father worked out at. So we all piled into our Nissan Sentra and on the way we encountered the ambulance, fire trucks. Well, you can imagine the whole scene. I couldn't really see what was happening and they wouldn't let us into the gym, but I could see a silhouette of my father laying on the ground. We arrived at the hospital and about an hour after we got there, they had all put us into one of those sterile rooms where we awaited the doctor. He came in and we knew it wasn't going to be good by the look on his face. He said, we tried to resuscitate your father, but we were unsuccessful. Before he finished talking, my brothers broke down in a way I have never heard them before. And the sounds that came from that room, I will never forget to this day. My dad was a lawyer, a land developer, the first to graduate college in his family, and was damn near valedictorian at ASU Law School. He died at 52 years old from a catastrophic cardiac event. Now, at 10 years old, I had no idea how this particular event was going to affect me but it changed the course of my life forever. Having conversations with kids my age seemed pointless and futile. They say you grow up fast when something like this happens. Oh yeah, she's mature, she's an old soul. No, I just experienced the most traumatic thing a child could go through. And what did I have in common with kids my age? It was time for me to be an adult. Kids aren't supposed to experience this type of grief, right? My dad was young and didn't necessarily prepare for such an event. No life insurance policy with a million dollars in it. And things got real for my mom and brothers very fast. We quickly went on government assistance and my mom worked a job in hospitality for 525 an hour just so that she could get health insurance for her five kids. Now, there are some things that happened that probably shouldn't have. My mom and dad were divorced and quite frankly, they didn't have the best relationship. So there were times that, well, she didn't have the nicest things to say about him. And what that did to me inherently was I grew up with the belief that men weren't reliable that they weren't to be trusted, and subconsciously that they were just going to abandon me. And <laughs> what do those beliefs do a little girl? It makes her unbelievably untrustworthy of men and causes her, causes her to go after men in romantic settings that would recreate this trauma loop over and over again. Fast forward to my 20s and I became the boss bitch that didn't have to rely on a man who could support herself climb the corporate ladder and make enough money to never be poor again. When you grow up and your diet consists of stroganoff and Hormel chili, there's something that happens to you. It set off a spark in me and my brothers to pursue excellence and become the hardest working fools on the planet. Little did I know that was just a false sense of security and workaholism became my drug because I didn't want to feel my feelings, but let's move on. Oh, and I learned to be the funny girl as a coping mechanism as well for my trauma. I paid my therapist about $5,000 for that little nugget. Even though I had a focused career, confident social life, everything on the outside, outside seemed just fine. My romantic pursuits weren't as picture perfect. Frankly, my relationships were a nightmare. Those of you who follow, you know, Jordan Peterson or any type of psychology channels might understand that girls without fathers tend to choose men with very dark triad traits, AKA the bad boys or the assholes, the not so good, but you don't know why kind of guy, addicts, cheaters, men that I was convinced that I could change. We attracted each other like moths to a flame. For a decade or more, I was choosing all the wrong types of people. And it wasn't until I hit rock bottom before I realized that my decisions and subconscious programming were leading me to keep making the same mistakes over and over again. It wasn't until I went to rehab, took me about five years to say that out loud, 
after developing a very strong addiction to benzodiazepines because my life was literally unraveling and I was just trying to live day to day, sometimes moment to moment, suffering from crippling anxiety, fearing being found out that it was all just smoke and mirrors. I'd gotten engaged to the wrong person who was struggling with his own demons and we were just one big unhappy family. My life blew up and it was in that moment that I said, no more. I'm gonna figure this out or I will die trying. It wasn't them, it was me that didn't understand myself at a deep level and was terrified of intimacy with a man because I had no concept of what a healthy relationship looked like. Oftentimes relationships don't just come naturally for most people, especially when you don't have a model to follow as a young child. And they sure as shit aren't teaching this at school. So it started as a quest to understand men at a deep level is what landed me here today. And it's the reason I'm making this video. I remember going to the internet and scouring for information about them, books, podcasts, anything that I could find. And it was like digging in the trash for scraps. There's so many books about how to catch and keep a man, how to lure him in by withholding sex and how to make him pursue you. But all of it is complete bullshit. It didn't tell me what a man values in a woman, what men want at a deep subconscious level, what they're looking for long term. And most of the dating advice doesn't work because it's surface level advice, even about women. It's a complete shit show. That's when I decided to take matters into my own hands. I spent two years single so I could heal myself. I read and researched and went through my own transformation and came out on the other side ready to take on the dating world. What I found out though is that people are still really hurting and lost on both sides. At some point, we all have to forgive our childhoods, move on and grow from it. I forgave my mother, accepted that things were out of my control and now as a functioning adult, it was time for me to take ownership of my own life. I began my own journey to understand and uncover how all this plays out, especially in our society today where marriage is practically a failure, divorce is rampant, and well, our culture is pretty broken when it comes to romance. The dynamics between men and women have morphed and changed since our parents' generation, for better or for worse. It's become more obvious why so many people are struggling to find love in the present era. Men are being fed some red pill idea of masculinity and women are, women are following like these purple haired feminists into the land of I hate men abyss. <laughs> After spending that time alone, I started seeing that the anger and animosity that so many people feel towards their partners and their exes all made sense to me. It's just unresolved pain. I too at one point thought, what the hell, all these men are jerks, and my patterns were creating a narrative that was being reinforced. If you keep seeing the same thing over and over again, you start to believe it. And I was losing hope, but it all comes down to personal accountability. Through my own journey and multiple heartbreaking relationships, I learned that our attachment styles, trauma from the past, and our perceptions of how we see the world can greatly impact how we choose our romantic partners. I didn't set out to be this person, but sometimes in life, things come to you. I've blown up on every social media channel because men are hurting and they're shocked to see a woman who just wants to understand them. Men write me daily asking for advice because they just want to feel understood and they wanna understand women too. Women are hurting as well and I know deep down they are longing for a strong connection with the man that they, they just don't know how to get it and they think ignoring his text messages for five hours will increase his attraction, says modern dating advice. So here I am. With each video, I hope to help men and women take personal accountability for their love life and to try and understand why we do the things we do. Maybe men and women are driving the same car, but are just looking out through a different rear view mirror. We see things completely differently, 
process differently. And no matter how much we have evolved through time and evolution, there are some things that will never change about our nature. Your relationship doesn't have to be based in trauma bonding or insecure attachment or being attracted to someone because they fulfill some wound that you haven't healed. Look, I've been through it and it's much better to be single than miserable within your relationship. It's also never too late to transform your relationship. Be the change that you wish to create. Bring more peace. It doesn't have to feel so tumultuous all the time. So YouTube, I'll do my best to bring you the highest caliber of content based not on bias, but on research, different educational journals, and from books I've read that have helped to change my life. I hope you come with an open heart and an open mind and offer me grace as sometimes I might say things that will offend. I'm not perfect, but I will try and push you to think and to feel. I've dedicated my life to growth and I will grow with you all as well. If you disagree, then challenge me. But all I ask is that you are respectful and considerate of where I've come from. Thank you for your support and let's create some more understanding between the sexes shall we? Subscribe if you can relate and you want to be a part of this change. And I'll see you on the next one.